You're walking around with papers and a pen. That means you must be official. So what's happening today? Say that again. What's happening? What about tonight? Oh, right sorry. now. <laughs> we are here because it's the 69th birthday of the National Health Service. And we're here to say thank you to all the staff in the hospital for all the hard work they do. And we're offering cake to the public and to the staff. Uh, but also here with a very serious point that we think the NHS is under threat, it's underfunded, it's being privatised. Particularly we want to raise the cap on, on nurses' pay. Seven years they've had no pay rises and 20% increase in the number of nurses leaving the profession in the last month. So it's important we do something so it's a happy occasion but a serious one. Thanks, Dwight. Thank you. Uh, Val's actually the Save Our NHS person. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chris does live streaming with lots of activists. Hello. She's been up at the Clay Cross camp. Hello. That's where Hello, I met him. Yeah. I'm very, very well. Yeah. about why we're here. Yeah. Although I'm... I, although I live in Newcastle, I'm around this area a lot, and I've been trapped in the A&E here more times than I'd like to remember. Yeah. Most recently, back in May, when I had to have an emergency procedure happen. But what's happening directly here in Chesterfield that you're involved with? What would you like the public to get to know about? Well, we'd like to get the public to know about our concerns about the future of the National Health Service uh, from the point of view of the fact that um, you know, government policy has meant that during the last five years there have been almost £20 million pounds worth of cuts in the National Health Service and the government appears to be planning uh, a similar amount of cuts by 2020. We are faced with a kind of reorganisation, a plan to reorganise the health services in Derbyshire called the Sustainability and Transition Plan. And uh, yes, it's jargon. Don't trust uh, it. It's jargon. <laughs> but what it actually means is the closure of a number of hospitals and the closure actually in total of 535 beds. Uh, which, will lead, which will mean um, that out of the health service, millions of pounds are going to be taken out of the health service in Derbyshire and millions of pounds taken out of social care. And we don't believe that's sustainable. So what we actually want the government to do is to provide fair and sustainable funding for our national health service. We also want uh, to have no further cuts and no hospital closures that are driven by, if you like, financial necessity. Uh, and the third thing we want, which is really, really important, I mean, at the moment, we know that there are more nurses and more midwives leaving the NHS and joining. And that's because of the pressures on them. It's also because of the pay freeze. You know, they have lost 14% of the value of their pay and had no pay rise, decent pay rise for years. We want fair pay for our nurses and our hospital workers and our, our public service workers in general. We, it's a message. We want to celebrate the NHS because it's 69 years old, but we want it to look after our children and our grandchildren. We don't want it to be destroyed by cuts and privatisation and by a demoralised staff that no longer can afford to work in the NHS. If inflation's at 2.6% currently, then just to keep track, you need at least a 2.6% increase absolutely. in your salary yeah, year absolutely. on year on year on year. And anything less is you're selling yourself cheap. Absolutely, and that's what's happened to the NHS as well. I mean, not only has it not had uh, money put in every year adjusted for inflation, it's had cuts. Yeah. It's had money stripped out of it, and that is unsustainable. You know, the problem at the moment, people are feeling the dissatisfaction with the NHS. But it's deliberately created. It isn't any failing, intrinsic failing. It's actually because of government policy. And we want government policy to change. And that's the message we've got today, really, that we celebrate, we thank the staff for the job they do, but we want government to listen to us. Thank you very much. Okay.
it is quite ludicrous that the wages in the NHS there's a lot of talk at the moment speaking about a wages cap where you're capped at a 1% maximum increase I don't know any NHS staff in the last five years have had any increase never mind even 1% 1% might be a bit of a luxury to some of them if, they're un if they manage to get it.